hi hello everyone uh, welcome again uh, to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share how we can specify definition of done in azure devops so when we uh, specify the azure board or when we configure it when we configure different columns as part of azure board we can also specify like what's our criteria when we move our work item from one column within the Azure board to another column. Okay, so I'm sharing the same project. This is our Scrum project 2023. So I have just clicked on overview and we can get the basic details about this project. Now, in order to uh, configure the definition of done, what we have to do is we have to click on boards. So this is our basic board. And if I simply expand this view, so right now we have four columns, like we have new, approved, committed, that means committed in a sprint, and then done, right? So if we have to, based on our own project needs and the workflow uh, that our team is using, if we have to specify any new column, or if we have to specify explicitly the definition of done, in for these columns so what we can do is we can specify that in azure devops so all we have to do is we have to click on configure team settings and uh, just below the board we see the columns so if i click on the columns so these are the currently defined columns so if we have to add a new column all we have to do is like click on this column let's say we are saying there is a workflow where qa needs to test it so we have specified this one. Now, if uh, I, I can place this one anywhere, I can simply drag it. So I want it to be placed before done. So that means uh, the QA has to test and only after that we can mark it as a done. Now, uh, if I simply save and close, so you guys can see that now we have a QA test column just before the done. So this way we can uh, either rename or add a new column. Uh, depending upon what exactly is our workflow which satisfy the needs of the project now if we have to specify the definition of done again what we will have to do is we have to click on the team settings and if we see the columns let's move to the second column so here we can see this is our definition of done where it says like enter plain text or format using a markdown so let's say approved for us means like uh, So approved means like this is approved as per the definition of ready. So whatever work items we are specifying in the new column, be it a user story, be it a bug, be it a any other work item issue, it needs to be discussed and it needs to be, uh, you know, complete as per the definition of ready. So if I simply save and close, so now uh, we can see that there is an I mark, right? So any new team member who is joining in our project and they wants to understand like what exactly that particular column or state means. So they can simply bring the mouse to the I and, uh, you know, either we can click it and this, this shows like, you know, approved mint approved as per the definition of ready. So likewise, we can specify the definition of done for different columns. So again, if we have to specify for another columns, like we did for approved, if we have to specify for committed, so we can say committed by team in a sprint. Similarly for a QA test, we can say Okay. So now we can see we have, uh, you know, hints coming for the committed as well. If I click on this one, this is committed by team in a sprint. And similarly, if I click on QA test, that means QA has successfully tested and passed. Right. And if we have to specify for the done. So similarly for the done, we can. Okay. So this is the last one. So we will not for the first and last, we will not get any uh, criteria. Right. So. If the QA testing is done, that means, you know, we are all done. So uh, this was kind of a brief, like how we can specify the definition of done in a Scrum project. And uh, 
uh, i hope you guys liked it and if you are new to this channel please share and subscribe thank you